So the drama continues to get worse for old Ellen DeGeneres. A lot has come out on her over the past two weeks. Well, more so her show. Not so much on her, her executive producers, people that run the show, and so on and so on. Uh, They have been quite exposed lately. Now, I want to be fair. There's no real evidence out there, as far as I know, that's come forward on any of the things that have come out on the people who run her show and anybody involved in it. And per usual, my stance on that is that I think everybody should be entitled to due process and we should get the facts on things. However, it's still in the news and I'm going to report on it. One thing I think I can say about Ellen DeGeneres, as far as what's been reported over the history of her being in Hollywood is that she's not a very nice person and she's a big phony. She has the whole slogan, be kind to each other and be well and all that stuff. But the reality of the situation appears to be that she's actually a nasty person and quite mean to people. Uh, She really got exposed during the lockdown where she was talking about how she felt like she was in prison and, you know, to the average person, you know, most people like rent, a lot of people living in apartments, stuff like that. Uh, when you're living in a one bedroom apartment and you're locked down in there and you can't leave. Well, I mean, you could leave, but where were you going to go? Everything was shut down unless you were going to go to Walmart or a grocery store or something. For the most part, every store was shut down. There was nothing to go do. So unless you were just going to go for a drive or a run, you were essentially just locked down and you couldn't do anything. Ellen complained about it, you know, in her humongous compound on how terrible it was. Uh, That was kind of the big thing that she got exposed on. And that goes more with celebrity culture and the downfall of celebrity culture and how people are kind of waking up to that they're all a bunch of phonies. So uh, she's in some hot water. All of these allegations that have been coming out on her show don't look good for her. And while she may or may not have known what's going on, though according to this insider from the Daily Mail, she did know what was going on. She had to, according to them. This is all coming from the Daily Mail. Uh, She recognizes that her brand is incredibly damaged from this. You have to consider it like from this perspective, okay? She is an idol for the far-left extremist community. They love her. And because of that, these things look really bad and it's very damaging to her brand big time big time it's cancellation time type of allegations though it doesn't take much but she gets a she gets a longer she gets longer rope when it comes to stuff because of who she is and let's face the fact they don't really you you will see very few outlets calling for her cancellation now if it had been anybody else There'd already be four to 500 articles on having her ousted. But apparently, uh, she's had enough, and she's ready to call it quits. Uh, This is coming from the Daily Mail, and it's exclusive, as they say here. On the Generous is Telling Show executive, she's had enough and is ready to call it quits as staffers slam her apology and claim she's the problem as Star hides away and her wife, Portia DeRosi, walks their dogs. So this is where it's coming. Like Ellen is kind of holed up. This is her wife out there walking the dog, hiding away under these glasses. And Ellen's been nowhere to be found. She has been incredibly silent other than the apology that she put out, I believe, yesterday. She put a little apology out, and a lot of people were calling it out and saying, hey, uh, she's a liar. This has been known behavior for a long time. She's not fooling anybody. We know she's a fake phony. And I don't think she's going to be able to escape this unscathed. The The short story here is that she thinks the only way to save her brand is to quit the show. And I think that's probably honestly what might end up happening here. We'll see how far it goes. But she could quit the show, start something new. Maybe she'll start a YouTube channel. Be like one of us. She's just like one of us. Maybe, maybe, that's, what, maybe that's what she'll do. Uh, Ellen DeGeneres may be ready to call it quits on her daytime talk amid claims she perpetuated 
a toxic work environment, DailyMail.com can reveal. An insider at Telepictures tells DailyMail.com that the host is telling executives at Telepictures and Warner Brothers that she's had enough and wants to walk away from the show. She feels that she can go on, and the only way to recover her personal brand from this is to shut down the show that they said. The truth is she knew what was going on. It's her show. The buck stops with her. She can blame every executive under the sun, but Ellen is ultimately the one to blame. And then it goes on to talk about how her wife was out walking dogs and, you know, Ellen's nowhere to be found. Now, what's interesting about this is that apparently, according to this insider, Telepictures has had enough of her. Uh, they don't like working with her. And it sounds like they want to walk away. Now, I'm not sure how much I believe that. They might not like her. But the fact of the matter is, is if her show is bringing in money, and ratings uh, throughout the history of Hollywood, they will put up with any ass as long as the person brings in money. If you've got a name and you're bringing in money and you're making them rich, they usually don't give a damn. Why do you think Harvey Weinstein was able to stay in, in Hollywood for so long? Everyone knew what that guy was doing. Nobody said anything. Why didn't they say anything? He was making people money. He is making people rise up in fame and all kinds of stuff. You think they're going to say anything about that? No. It doesn't really matter. You can be the worst person in the world in Hollywood. As long as you're lining pockets and bringing people up, nobody cares. It's part of the reason why they're all fake. Okay? So here's the interesting stuff. It comes off at the it, the... it comes as staff at the Ellen DeGeneres show are hitting back at her for shifting the blame to her executive producers in an apology memo sent this week. Don't think for a minute anything she has said in her apology means anything... She created and then enabled this toxic culture to go on for so long. One staffer who spoke to Daily Mail on condition of being anonymous said if anyone had to come to her to, or if anyone had come to her or these or those three vile executive producers to complain, they would have been fired. And just like in my last video yesterday, I was talking about that. Apparently, an executive producer uh, liked to uh, make people go under his desk, if you know what I'm saying. So it's... Uh, some big stuff coming out about this, and I wonder, you know, I do wonder what's going to happen. Uh, the behavior of her show executives has been appalling, Ellen, but Ellen is no better. In fact, she is the worst. It's outrageous that she is trying to pretend that, that this is all a shock to her. The fish rots from their head, and Ellen is the head. Our telepictures insider claims that Ellen hates coming to work and struggles to be nice to people and has utter contempt for her audience. Now, to be fair... I think that's most people in Hollywood, <laughs> and a lot of people in the entertainment industry. And, I, and I've been saying this for a long time. It's not, are they good enough for you to want to be their fan? No. Are you good enough to be their fan? These people see you as like a subhuman, as a piece of trash. That's how they see most. They think they're better than you. They see them as a higher up of, of, of a human and you're, you're a lesser being. They really do. They see you as a peasant, and they're royalty. And in a lot of ways, that's our fault for pushing these people so high up on the pedestal. Uh, Hollywood and celebrities have somewhat always been American royalty because we don't have you know royalty over here. So in a lot of ways, we've always looked to celebrities as royalty, and it's mostly our fault that they've gotten these big heads because of the plat the plateaus and stuff that we put them on. So it's it's somewhat our fault, but I think it's quickly being corrected. <laughs> I think it's quickly being corrected. And Ellen's about to learn how hard it hurts to fall. So I thought this was really interesting. So I don't know who this insider is, you know, and I and I can't I can't credit this, but usually uh, these drama outlets like Daily Mail and a few others have pretty good insiders and connections where people could come out and say stuff. Interesting stuff, nonetheless. And I really wonder what's going to happen. Will she quit her show? Uh, what would she do after that? You know, maybe get, probably get another show, go to another network. Maybe she'll be a late night talk show host. Who knows? All I know is it's funny and it's interesting. Everyone at Telepictures hates her, but they're quiet because she lines their pockets. And uh, apparently Ellen hates her audience and everybody at her show. I believe it. Anyway, that's pretty much it. We'll see what happens. Will she quit? Will Ellen quit her show? We'll find out. Anyway, that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, leave a comment. 
throw a like up, share the video, make sure you're still subscribed, subscribe if you're new, hit that notification bell, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace. Also, if you want to help support the channel, check out my Teespring store. There's a link in the description. You can find some merchandise in there that you might want to check out.